So every now and then I just like to make a video where I just talk about what's going on and share with you guys what I'm doing on this channel, what, I've, what plans I have going forward for the channel and how things are going. Now, I've been doing these daily videos for about, um, about a couple of months now, about a couple of stints of having time off, but for the most part, I've been doing these videos every month, right? Transcend Your Limits YouTube channel, daily videos, you know, I've been trying to do something different or at least talk about something different every day. Now, I've got a sort of core audience of people who are watching most of my videos and commenting. I really appreciate you guys. It's very encouraging to see this. Um, what I would say is just keep commenting, keep supporting these videos and also please let me know what you would like me to cover, what topics you'd like me to talk about because like I can do it, you know, I make a daily video and with such a small audience I can afford to just listen to you guys and make a video exactly about what you want me to talk about. So some some updates then I guess from this for this journey. I've been consistently vegan for the last chunk of my life and things are going well, I feel strong, I feel energetic there aren't really any bad effects I can think about. Uh, the only thing I guess I would say is that you need to make sure, if you're going to do this yourself, you know, what I've needed to make sure that I do, is have enough calories um, to maintain your body weight. You need to work out your BMR, which is your basal metabolic, me metabolic rate, I guess. Your B BMR is how many calories you burn if you were to just lay there all day doing nothing. And obviously to maintain your body weight and your muscle and to feel good and healthy, you need to at least eat your basal metabolic rate in calories every day um, in order to stay the same weight that you are, and assuming you don't want to lose weight of course, uh, and especially if you're a guy and you want to put on muscle or you know stay muscly, uh, then I would advise eating above your BMR, which you know 500 calories, 1000 calories above your BMR, because uh, that will compensate for uh, activities that you're going to do during the day. So if you go on a hike or you go to the gym, this burns calories. If you walk around the house, if you lift things, if you do whatever, this, this will burn calories, right? So in order to maintain your body weight, uh, despite that, you need to make sure that you're eating above your BMR, so more calories than you need, so that you can allow for this activity burning. So there's that. That's something I've had to sort of battle with, is eating enough calories. Um, but, you know, once you get a routine down and you have a good morning smoothie, like my other video I made, check my channel for my smoothie video, um, you, it's it's kind of easy, you know. If you if you can drink 1,500 calories in the morning, then you only have to eat a couple of meals during the day, and a, you know a few snacks and everything, and you can easily get the calories in. The only thing I've noticed is that if you do if you overdo it, as in if you have too many calories in one meal, you're gonna feel sluggish, just like you would on any diet. If you have a massive meal full of like fast digesting carbs with no proteins or you know any meal really if you have a giant meal you're going to feel sluggish afterwards so you need to be aware of the fact that yeah you're, it's vegan it's healthier but you still need to moderate your portions otherwise you're going to feel slow and tired in terms of energy levels what i've noticed more than anything else is that food plays a part a big part but what plays a bigger an even bigger part than food is your le level of lethargy and what you're actually spending your time doing. If you eat a vegan diet and sit down all day every day without doing anything active, you're gonna feel pretty tired. And that's not necessarily because you're eating a bad diet or you know because you're not eating the right foods. You're eating the right foods. It's because energy is not just about diet. It's about diet, exercise, sleep, mindset. All of these things come into one sort of bigger picture which makes up your overall energy levels. I'd say the biggest ones, or you know, the, the ones that have the most impact are diet and sleep. But that being said, again, if you just eat a healthy diet and sleep a lot, and then still don't do anything during the day, you're gonna feel tired. You need to have this balance. Uh, and you know, it's important to have a balance where you have at least half an hour every day of being active, of doing something, of exercising. Make sure you're moving around, you're not just sitting in one place for too long, because that will make you very tired and lethargic and combine that with sleeping well and eating well and when you combine all of it together it's really powerful and you feel and you feel pretty great most of the time so anyway that's my vegan updates that's how things are going so far i've still been doing the cold showers although i've had a, a couple of days off the cold showers recently um cold showers are pretty simple they just increase your blood flow and make you feel better and it it just seems like a no-brainer to have a cold shower over a hot shower in terms of um the website, transcendyourlimits.com. I haven't been doing much updates on that recently. Um, I've been working on howtolucid.com and just providing lots of lucid dreaming related uh, content because that's what I'm passionate about most. 
but as I go into the travel world and as I start to become more of a, a nomad -y type uh, YouTuber and traveling more and more, there'll be much more content on Transcend Your Limits, there'll be more videos on this channel, maybe even two a day, depending on how, you know, I might make a separate vlog channel, I might have one for travel, one for vlogging, I don't know yet, depends how, how well it goes I guess and what I can spend my time doing. But for those of you who are watching this and you're one of my core subscribers, I really do appreciate you guys. This channel is small at the moment, I know that, but hopefully in a year's time or in two years time, we'll be able to look back and think like, you know, I was replying to your comments and talking to you guys right at the start and you hopefully will see this channel grow all the way up to, you know, past a million subscribers and everything like that. And, you know, maybe I'll be able to look back on this video and think, wow, that was a very different YouTuber than the one I'm gonna be. Well, I guess we'll see anyway. So leave a comment, leave a like, and I'll see you tomorrow.